Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. So in today's science lesson for week 4 is about the changes in materials when exposed to certain conditions such as temperature. In these new lessons, you are expected to describe changes in the properties of materials when exposed to certain conditions such as temperature. Try to save some iced tea or cold water while you are going through all the learning tasks in this module. What did you feel? Don't you know that cold water have more dissolved oxygen? That's, that's why it feels better to sip cold drinks than a non-cold drinks? So our topic will focus on the effect of temperature in the basis of materials. What do you think will happen to the ice cube if it will be taken out from a freezer? Another question, what will happen to the water inside the kettle if left at high temperature? The water that boils turned into gas or vapor that comes out of the kettle if left at high temperature for too long. What is temperature? It is the measurement of the amount of heat energy present in the surroundings. There is an exchange of heat between the substance and the surroundings. This means that heat can be absorbed by the materials or can be released by the materials. Ouch! It's hot! When the heat is absorbed by the materials, the temperature will increase, thus the material is hot. After 5 minutes, it's cold and ready to eat. If heat is removed or released by the materials, the temperature will decrease, thus it is cold. Temperature varies depending on the environment from where the materials are exposed. For example, we feel very hot during summer days because of the intense heat of the sun. Some places in our country registered a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. This is very hot because our normal body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius. If your temperature is above 37 degrees Celsius, you may experience fever. This is the reason why you are advised by the doctor to take medicine and take plenty of water to lower the temperature. Let's have our experiment. So when doing the experiment at home, you need the guidance and the help of your parents or guardian while doing the experiment. Always observe safety precautions while doing the activity at home. Now, let's answer the question a while ago about what do you think will happen to the ice cube if it will be taken out from a freezer. So the ice cube or the solid haze of water will melt if taken out from a freezer and stayed long at room temperature. The heat coming from the environment made the ice cube melted when they are removed from the freezer. The temperature in the freezer is 0 degrees Celsius. Thus, when ice cubes were exposed to heat in the environment, the high temperature of the environment caused the melting of ice cube. Another changes in the materials due to application of heat is called melting. Melting is the process that happens when solid materials changes into liquid form. The heat coming from the candle made the butter and crayons melted. Generally, an increase in the temperature turns solids into liquids is called melting. And liquid to solid it's called freezing. Liquid into gases is called evaporation. And solid into gas is a sublimation. Lastly, boils water at certain point is called boiling. When materials reach its melting point, solid materials change into liquid. The temperature at which the liquid will change back to solid is called freezing point. The melting point of ice is 0 degrees Celsius. This is also the freezing point of the water. The boiling point or the temperature at which water boils and turned into gas is 100 degrees Celsius. 
That is why water exists in three phases, depending on the condition by which it's exposed to different temperature. Three phases of water are freezing point, melting point, and boiling point. But if the change is from gas to liquid as the temperature falls below it, it is called condensation point. The state of substances in solid, liquid, or gas phases is largely determined by its temperature. At each threshold level of temperature, the material will change its state. These changes may either be physical change or chemical change. Physical changes like melting of ice cube, lighted candles, crayons, and butter resulted to changes in their shape, sizes, and texture. There are no new materials formed. When cooled, these materials recover the original physical state. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher in Science Grade 4. Goodbye! Happy learning!